Hey guys, it's Sunday, August 79, Jam of Jerome and Jetta.com and this is Jam Online TV. So this week, puro tayo ng national brands, specifically Samsung and Asus. Wala tayong local brands this week, so focus muna tayo dito sa international brands. Dito muna tayo sa pinakabagong smartphone ng Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. So, itong smartphone na to, matagal na itong na-leak and very popular to kasi it is the first smartphone, not actually the first I think, pero um, one of the first siguro or the first Samsung Galaxy smartphone na merong metal frame. Yes, just like the iPhone, the Xiaomi, and other smartphones with my metal frame. So unlike the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, metal na yung frame niya. Pero dun sa likod, makikita nyo na, well, it's perforated back. Pero parang napansin ko, mas manipis na yung mga butas niya. I mean, the, the perforated back is much thinner and neat compared to Samsung Galaxy S5. And it looks very premium. It's actually better than the Samsung Galaxy S5 in terms of looks. Pero sa specifications, hindi niya katapat ang Samsung Galaxy S5. Why? It has a 4.7 inch HD display. It's a super AMOLED display, so yeah, maganda yung colors. Pero it's, H, it's HD resolution lang siya. So it's not full HD compared to the Samsung Galaxy S5. And it doesn't um, run on, on Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. Instead, uh, Samsung Exynos Octa-Core processor with 1.8 GHz quad plus 1.3 GHz uh, quad. Basically, pag heavy task do tayo sa A15 1.8 GHz, pero pag uh, mga light applications lang do tayo sa 1.3 GHz quad. So basically, sa quad-core processor lang talaga when it comes to performance. Pero, um, it's Octa Core kasi nga, naglilipat-lipat siya Depende dun sa performance ng, smart, ng application or games dun sa smartphone There's a 32GB of internal storage Unfortunately, wala tayong microSD card slot dito There's a 2GB of RAM Well, okay yun for an HD Kasi kung naisipin nyo, we got an Octa Core console plus 2GB of RAM Sa HD resolution na display So basically, mas maganda yung performance dito Siguro compared sa Samsung Galaxy S5 kasi mak Mas malaking resolution, mas malaking na render, therefore mas malaking resources ang kailangan ng processor. There's a 12 megapixel rear camera, 2.1 megapixel front camera, and it's 1860 ng yung milliamps of battery niya, so medyo maliit siya. Pero of course, malalaman natin yun pagdating syempre sa, sa review, kasi sa 1860 milliamps of battery, may chance na, well, mas ma ma maganda pa rin yung battery nito kasi it's, it is using 20nm um, architecture sa processor niya. Basically, mas maliit yung um, time dun sa ng battery. Dun din sa display na 4.7 inch HD. So, yeah, mas maliit yung kailangan niya ng power kasi nga mas maliit resolution. And mas maliit naman yung sensor which is equal to, mas maliit yung heat is equal to mas maliit yung kailangan ng power. Is it for two? Mas matagal yung battery life. So, malalaman natin if may review unit tayo. Pero unfortunately, wala pa. Wala pa po tayong price and availability ng Samsung Galaxy Alpha. It comes in black, white, gold, silver, and blue. I like the blue. Uh, it looks very premium. Actually, it's better than the Samsung Galaxy S when it comes to, to its appearance, design. And probably better than the iPhone 6 para sa akin when it comes to design. So, hopefully, maging ganito yung si Samsung Galaxy Note 4 na may metal frame. Speaking of Samsung Galaxy Note 4, dito naman tayo sa Samsung Galaxy Note 4 leak na, na leak ng GSM Arena. So our source is GSM Arena. We're not sure if this is um, original or or this is just a um, parang render lang or fake na Photoshop, whatever. Or I don't know, man. I don't know. Pero according sa leaks, it, it will have a 5.7 inch QHD display. That's 2560 by uh, 1600 or 1440. I'm not sure yet. I forgot. Pero the, considering 2560 siya, probably mas malang pa siya sa display ng HDTV nyo. It has a metal frame din daw on yung to the mix and the picture. Makikita nyo para metal frame siya just like the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. And kung mapansin nyo, wala na siyang flap kasi... I guess, um, wala na yung water resistance compared to Samsung Galaxy S5. Well, mas maganda yun kasi pag walang water resistance, may chance na mas manipis yung device, mas less yung bezels, and wala nang flap. Flaps kasi medyo hassle siya pag nag-charge ka. You need to remove the flap every time na mag-charge ka may sasaksa ka sa micro USB. Um, according to din sa Lixit, will have a Snapdragon 805 processor. That's probably better. Of course, that will be better than the 801. Probably malaki yung difference. And it will have a 4 gigs of RAM. Um, we're not sure yet with the 4 gigs of RAM, pero sana supported yung 4 gigs of RAM. Is the last, whatever. 
It will have a hard rate sensor just like the Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, that's all dun sa info na Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Pero the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 is expected to be announced on September 4. Um, I'm expecting na mas malipis si bezels niya. Well, of course, makikita ko. Ito nga yung leak, mas malipis talaga yung bezels niya. Sana mas malipis. I like the leather um, texture, fox leather, uh, ng back cover niya. I hope na maray pa matatagdag na features kasi sa... Again, if nagbabasa kayo ng website ko, last year I nominated, uh, nominated, yeah, whatever. It's the number one dun sa top five best smartphones of 2013 para sa akin na Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and Note 3. So hopefully yung Galaxy Note 4 won't disappoint and sana mapalakas nito ulit Samsung kasi better competition equals better products equals panalong consumers, diba? So, yun. Yun lang naman ako dun sa Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Dito naman tayo sa bago ni Asus. Actually, it's, hindi na siya bago kasi the Asus Zenfone 5, matagal na siyang in-announce sa in of Pilipinas. Pero ngayon, in-announce na meron na 16GB na version sa Pilipinas. Actually, the Zenfone 5 is one of the hottest smartphones kaya sa Pilipinas. Um, pero ang internal storage is 8GB. Well, this time, meron na 16GB. So, specs muna tayo kung hindi nyo natatandaan. Well, ito sa 5-inch HD IPS Plus display with Gorilla Glass 3 na glass eh, glass, tea, glass, whatever. And then, meron tayong Intel Atom Z2560 1.6GHz Dual Core Processor with Hyper Threading Technology. Huwag kayong maloko dito sa Dual Core Processor na Intel kasi itong Dual Core Processor Intel Processor na to, Dual Core Processor, Intel Processor, whatever, is a Dual Core Processor pero it acts like a Quad Core Processor thanks to the Hyper Threading Technology ng Intel. Actually, it's better than the um, 6589 ng MediaTek kasi in per, actually, in terms of performance, ah, the Antutu na Zenfone 5 can reach up to 20,000 while sa MediaTek about 16,000 or 18,000. Um, when it comes to performance, mas type ko tong Z2560 over 6589 ng MediaTek. There's a 2 gig of RAM which is quite good and malaki para sa kanyang price. Um, there's a 8, uh, 16 gig of eternal storage with micro SD card slot up to this, up to 64 gig, 8 megapixel rear camera. Actually, pinang bawa lang yung camera na mga sa low light conditions. There's a 2 megapixel front facing camera, 2110 milliamps of battery, and 104.4916 gig. Ang maganda dito is yung 6499 na price dati ng Zenfone 5 na 8 gig. 500 lang yung tinagdag meron ka ng Zenfone 5. 16 gig. Actually, mas mahal pa yata kung bumili ka ng micro SD na 16 gig kaysa dun sa tinaas na presyo na ng Asus Zenfone 5, 8 gig to 16 gig. So, it's actually um, interesting. Um, gusto kong matry itong Zenfone 5 kasi for me, ah, it is one of the best smartphones at 6.5. Ang kalaban niya dito is the Cherry Mobile Pulse which is an octocompressor, 1 gig of RAM, 8 gig of RAM storage. I'm not sure yet. Pero, it's actually good, the Zenfone 5, so yeah, I think pag tinanong niyo, probably may mga nagtatanong na naman sa akin, kuya, ano po bang maganda ako sa 6.5, Cherry Mobile Pulse or the Zenfone 5? Um, I actually can't say kung ano yung mas maganda until meron ako yung mga dalawa. So yun, I think that's it for this week's Jam Online TV. May excuse lang tayo and hindi masyado ang uh, mga malaki news. So don't forget to check out this show every weekend at my YouTube channel at uh, t3 slash Jam Online TV. So don't forget those subs locks. Kailangan tanggalin nyo yun kasi case sensitive po tayo. So once again, I'm jamsdermanchetta.com and thanks for watching Jam Online TV. So see you next week.